Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. Today let's talk about Sabrina Washington, one of the two armored warfare commanders available straight away when you launch the game for the first time. So, uh, but what vehicle types to assign her and what skills to develop? Uh, let's take a look uh, for what vehicle types Sabrina is suitable uh, for and uh, how her skills uh, can be developed and combined depending on what vehicle class you chose uh, to assign her to command. Well, uh, let's start and uh, make it clear straight away. Uh, Sabrina Washington is more suitable to use on your tank destroyers and uh, AVVs rather than tanks. Sabrina is very suitable for vehicles uh, that fire high explosive shells because uh, she has massive module damage bonuses. Uh, she is especially deadly on vehicles uh, with uh, uh, which firing uh, pellet rounds uh, with uh, enhanced uh, lateral effect. Uh, she is also suitable not only for tank destroyers but a lot of AVVs as well. Now let's take a look at Sabrina's uh, skill tree classic setup and then uh, we will take a look at some alternative uh, ways uh, how those skills uh, can be set up uh, so you will be able to choose which one setup is more appropriate for you. Uh, let's look at Sabrina's as tank destroyer and AVV command and let's start with the basic skill uh, this command has by default. And this skill is module damage improvement skill which is very useful if you operate not only tank destroyer but actually any vehicle class because knocked out uh, modules lower uh, enemies vehicles uh, performance and and uh, you commendations and experience in the game the first three skills i suggest uh, to develop are uh, two uh, camo factor increasement skills and foliage camo factor increasement skill uh, which will boost your overall camo uh, by 4% and uh, uh, if you take uh, your vehicle in vegetation cover it will give you additional 6.6% on top of that and uh, as we know camo is quite important for tank destroyers and AVVs. So basically getting those three skills straight away done you get 10.6% camo increase while you standing behind vegetation. So very useful for setting up ambushes or if you sneak through the flanks from bush to bush going a flank approach uh, with your AVV and uh, that apply for long range uh, standstill tank destroyers as well. So yes, in my opinion these three skills should be developed fast. After that uh, there are the next five skills which are important to develop to boost your tank destroyer or AVV performance against enemy vehicles and those skills are two reload speed increasements uh, which will give you a 1.2 percent reload speed increasement then uh, turret traverse uh, speed increasement uh, for uh, 3.5 percent very useful for long range tank destroyers uh, to make uh, them able to shift their uh, firing sector quickly uh, then 8.8 uh, 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 meter spotting range increasement and uh, finally 6.6% uh, ability to spot through the foliage improvement. The last two are even more important for active uh, AVVs than tank destroyers. However, of course, the tank destroyers benefit from them as well. Um, after all those skills uh, are done, your AVV or tank destroyer is quite set to be a deadly hunter 
are receiving uh, camo, vision range and spotting bonuses along with uh, some other already mentioned bonuses. After these eight initial skills uh, you can uh, continue to develop uh, remaining uh, six uh, available skills in uh, crew damage increase direction uh, getting 12.6% uh, uh, percent increasement uh, for two skills and then 4.4% percent aim speed improvement and additional 10.9% crew damage improvement to even more enhance uh, crew damage up to 23.5% five percent overall enhancing your vehicle's performance to target the enemy crew as well as the last skill i would suggest to develop would be a chance of high precision shooting increasement by nine percent very useful for long range sniper so and uh, to get uh, to that skill you must uh, go through damage caused by a ramming reducement no much use of uh, this skill uh, if you are operating a tank destroyer or uh, fev but nevertheless you should take it uh, if you want to get uh, to high precision shooting if we look at sabrina's uh, skill tree uh, we can notice that alternatively we can develop two useful camo penalty when firing reducement skills with a 2.44 percent each uh, that's uh, roughly a uh, five percent reducement which can uh, be developed instead of uh, damage caused by ramming reducement and the chance of high precision shooting instead if you plan to use sabrina more on your fevs rather than tank destroyers and operate in long to medium distances from enemy if you are intended to take your fev closer than that then uh, there will not be much use of that bonus Another alternative uh, is to swap 6.6% uh, foliage camo factor uh, increment for 3.01% maximum spread reducement if you intend to use Sabrina strictly on long range sniping tank destroyers where precision is highly important. Uh, Sabrina can be used also on uh, main battle tanks uh, to exploit uh, her module uh, crew damage and vision range skills but in general uh, these would be only useful Sabrina skills for uh, main battle tanks and main battle tanks have uh, other more suitable commanders to improve uh, their performance rather than Sabrina and uh, we will talk about uh, uh, other commanders in later episodes uh, um, i would like to hear your opinion about uh, this command uh, please leave your comments um, and uh, that would be all for today i hope that you enjoyed this video if uh, you like this video smash the thumbs up button hit the bell and subscribe for more tank gameplay stuff and uh, stay tuned uh, thank you for watching this video have a wonderful day and see you next time.